Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my coconut cookies. Alright? Now there are two types of people in this world and there's ones that like coconut and there are others that don't. But I'm one that really loves coconuts, alright? Now, before you do that, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. Alright? And without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that we'll be using for our coconut cookies, all right? So we have here our granulated sugar, all right? So we're gonna be using half cup granulated sugar. We're gonna be using quarter cup brown sugar or dark sugar, all right? We're gonna also be using a stick and a half of butter. We're gonna be using one large egg. We're gonna be using one tablespoon of baking soda a teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. We also have here two cups of flour. We have two cups of shredded coconut, that's a, that's a sweetened one. And we also have some vanilla, which we're gonna be using about uh, a, um, a teaspoon and a half of vanilla, all right? So those are the simple ingredients we're gonna be using to create our decadent and delicious coconut cookies. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna go ahead and get the coconut toasted. Just make sure that your oven is at, is preheated at 350 degrees. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how we go about toasting our coconut. Okay guys, so the first part in the process is toasting the coconut. All right, we need it to be golden brown, not burnt. So we're gonna go ahead and check on it every two minutes and turn it so that everything gets evenly browned because the bottom of, of, of the coconut will get dark real fast and we need to get both sides um, dark, all right? So let's go ahead and um, sprinkle our coconut on our baking sheet. All right, so that's two cups and we, we're gonna go ahead and just spread it out. So it's evenly, or as close to evenly distributed as we can get. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just pop this in the oven. And remember, just keep checking on it every two minutes. If you have to set a timer, go ahead and set a timer. And stir it every few, I mean every two minutes so that it does not burn okay guys so now while the coconut has been toasted let's go ahead and incorporate our dry ingredients so it's normally best to sift your flour to prevent clumps all right or lumps so go ahead and i'll get my two cups of flour sifted Then we'll add our baking soda, baking powder, and salt. All right, give it a good mix. You could use a whisk if you choose. All right, now that we have that mixed, we could set that aside for later. Hey guys, so this is how I like my um, my coconut toasted, all right? There's some, a few specks of white here and there, and the majority of it is golden brown, all right? Just ensure that you don't burn it, just get it uh, golden brown, and you achieve that by constantly keep watching it and turning it, no more than two minutes or less, all, it's all based on how hot your oven gets. All right, so this is what we need. I'm gonna put it aside for it to, um, to cool down and then I'll start the other process which will be the wet ingredients. 
Okay guys, so in our mixer, we're gonna go ahead now and, and add our room temperature butter, all right? Just make sure you take the butter out um, with enough time to be at room temperature. Or if you forget to take it out, you can go ahead and pop it in the microwave for a few seconds to achieve the um, room temperature consistency that's needed. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and add our granulated sugar. We're gonna go ahead and add our brown sugar. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and start our mixer. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cream our sugar and butter while making sure that we um, scrape the sides of the bowl if needed to ensure that we have a, a complete consistency. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our one room temperature egg, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and just mix for a few more seconds or so, and then we'll be ready to move on. Okay guys, so it's now time to add in our vanilla extract. All right, so it's about a teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little mix. You could always, you could have added it earlier and um, use the mixer, but it's all right. I'll just go ahead and um, just mix it a little bit. And now we're gonna be adding our dried ingredients, all right? So first, I'm gonna go ahead and add the mixture we had before, which is our two cups of flour, along with um, the baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I'm gonna also give it a, a start by mixing, mixing the flour in. before I start the um, the mixer. All All right, so we gave our cookie dough a quick, quick little mix. Go ahead and scrape it down. All right, at this point, don't worry if you see a little bit of flour here and there. We're gonna go ahead and um, now add our toasted coconut. So just remember that, you know, the coconut, we, we had it done earlier and it's now cool. So we're gonna go ahead and add it to the butter, all right? Okay guys, so here is my finished cookie dough. I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the refrigerator for about half an hour. This also helps the um, flavors of the coconut to be infused into the, um, the dough. As you can see, the coconut flakes are evenly distributed and we're gonna go ahead and get this done in just a few minutes. Okay guys, so I've taken my dough out of the um, refrigerator. I've had it sitting out to, you know, get a little more pliable and now I'm ready to go ahead and start forming the um, cookie ball, all right? So you can use, um, I'm gonna be using ice cream scoop. You can use a spoon if you choose. 
So what we'll do, we we'll just go ahead and and scoop up a generous amount of dough. We're gonna create a ball. All right, so that we squeeze all the air out of the um, the cookie ball. Then we're gonna go ahead and place it on our parchment lined baking sheet. All right. Now we're gonna place the, those about two inches apart. All right. So let's go ahead and continue the process. Okay guys, so it's time to pop these in the oven for 10 minutes, all right? Okay guys, as you can see, our cookies are now out of the oven and you can see they're soft enough to the touch. It's not those hard, crunchy type. And as you can see, it's still a little bit poofy due to the fact that it has the baking soda, all right? Now, the less baking soda, the more flat your cookies will be. And there you have it, coconut cookies made easy. Now, if you gained any knowledge from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well, so you'll be notified each time we post, all right? Now, if you do your coconut cookies another way, go ahead and drop that in the comment section so we could discuss it. And if there are any other recipes you'd like for us to try, just go ahead and drop that in the comment section as well, and we'll be sure to get to it. And until next time, walk good, one love, and big up on yourself.